okay we're going to talk about moving Windows Live Mail from one installation to another and what we're going to do is that we're going to look at the a hard drive that has your old Windows 7 on it now this could be an, a hard drive that you've pulled from your other computer it could be uh, another system across the network your old Windows 7 system and now you have a new other new computer or laptop that you have Windows 8 on uh, but basically we're going to copy that over we're not going to use the import export function but let's talk about Windows Live uh, Mail for a second. First of all, Windows Live Mail, if you don't already have it, is a set of the uh, Windows Essentials. So let's go click on uh, Internet Explorer, and we'll click up here, and we'll just type in here Windows Essentials. Okay, we'll go to that website, and this is Windows Essentials. And there's Photo Gallery here, Movie Maker, Messenger. There's a lot of different, there's Live Writer, nice, excellent blogging program, but this is what you can use for mail. Now, Microsoft has a new mail. This is not the mail that you see here on the start screen. This is a different, a new type of mail that uses a different technology called IMAP, which synchronizes your mail no matter where you're at. And Microsoft wants everybody to move to that, which is understandable. But I'm just trying to retain your old live mail. So we're going to go back to the desktop. We're going to talk about that. So first of all, if we open up Live Mail, I've already done the default installation. When it asked me for an account, I did set up an account. I said no. So let's go take a look at it. Everything's empty. There's no extra storage folders over here. There's no inbox or anything like that. If I view accounts, there's no accounts here. There's nothing here. It's all empty. Okay. So let's open up a computer and let's talk about this for a second. Well, first of all, we have this hard drive here, which is a solid-state drive. We've installed one of the new solid-state uh, drives, which is basically memory only. It's no disks or anything like that. But that's where we have Windows 8 installed. Over here, this is our old Windows 7 directory. This is where we have a dual-boot computer, and Windows 7 is installed over here. And over here is the Windows 8, like I said. So if we open up this directory and we go to users and we go to my name and the case will be your name you'll see this app data directory first of all if you don't see it you're going to have to turn on the ability to see it and you do that by going up here to view and you notice over here it has this hidden names over here what's in the items what's important is that this is a system directory normally hidden so it's hidden so that the average user doesn't get in trouble but we need to have to be able to take a look at it in order to find your files so we have that on we double click on that, we double click on local, we go find Microsoft, we double click on that, and you'll see there's a Windows Live Mail. That's the empty installation, the Windows Live Mail. We're going to right click on that. Uh, oh, excuse me, we're going to right click on that and say rename. And we're going to call this Windows Live Mail. Okay, this is the empty. We could call it new, old, whatever you want to call it and everything just to make it different. So Windows Live Mail now, it's, as far as it's concerned, it's not there. So let's go back to the computer again. We're going to go to this local disk. Again, this could be a USB drive you've copied those files to from. Okay, let's go look at users. Bob, this time was on my other uh, computer, or in this computer and the other. Go to apps, go to local, scroll down till we find Microsoft again. We find Microsoft. We open that up, and you'll see the Windows Live Mail directory there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this Live Mail directory over to this installation over here. So that's hard drive to this hard drive. And to do that, we simply click and hold, drop it over here. Now make sure it says like it says here, copy to Microsoft, because you get over top of a folder, you're going to drop it inside of one of those folders and it's not the right place for it. So make sure you're over here on the edges where you're not in one of the columns, because you'll drop it to the right place if you do that. So let's copy it over here to Microsoft. So let's do that. And uh, it's going to take a little bit to here to copy everything over. When it gets done copying everything over, it's going to ask me one security question. I'm going to say continue. And now I have Windows Live Mail directory here. Well, what that's done for me is now that when the Windows Live looks for that, it's going to find my account. Now, something's going to, something's going to happen. So first of all, we're going to click on the Windows Live Mail to launch it again. And here it is here. The first thing it does, it asks me for my password. So if I remember it, I'm going to go ahead and say, and 
it automatically says remember password. I say okay. Oh, it just pulled in a one of those good old Facebook uh, do you know things. Okay, I'm go I'm actually going to go ahead and right click click on that, or I'm just going to click on it and say delete. Okay. But you'll notice that under storage folders, now I have an inbox, by the way. I have sent items. I can click on those. I would I would see them over here. Deleted items as well. Everything's there because I have my account. Okay. If I go here to storage folders, there's all my storage folders that I had made under my other account. That I, everything's in its right place. It's not in an imported folder area over here. It's in an actual right place. And because I have my password and I logged in, I am now up and running. It's that quick, that easy. It's a lot better than using the import or export messages function here because it puts it it puts them in the right place. It puts them exactly where you were in your other installation. And that's the quick down and dirty way of moving Windows Live Mail from one installation to another.